Hello! Um, welcome to a vlog. Um, today's vlog is actually going to be about the JET program. Oh, okay, so one of my friends from high school um, applied for the JET program and she recently got an interviews and she had asked me for advice. Um, there is so much material out on the internet that this is just going to add like a penny to a million dollars. So it's really going to be repetitive almost. If you've done your research, you'll start to notice that things get really repetitive. Um, but this is probably going to be done in two videos because I talk a lot and this is something that I really enjoy talking about. So it's probably going to be done in two videos. So the first video and the second video. That was really pointless and I don't know why I said it, but two videos. Okay, anyway, so my advice, the best advice you can get from anybody is to do research. I mean, like I said, there are so many vlogs, so many blogs, you know, so many lists out there that have questions that people have been asked. And, you know, they do change the questions up. But, you know, when I was preparing for my interview, I read a website from somebody who interviewed in 95, in 1995. And they asked me some of the questions that they asked that person. So, you know, look out there, do research, and prepare yourself. So I'm going to just tell you a bit about my experience, my interview, and how it went. As best I can remember it, it was a whole year ago. One year ago. I can't believe it's already been one year ago that I interviewed for the JET program. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, so... A year ago, I had my interview, and I interviewed in Washington, D.C. Um, I was going to drive up there the day of, which meant I would have had to get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning because I had a 10 o'clock interview or something. So I ended up not driving up. I ended up getting a hotel because a snowstorm came through the day of my interview. Yeah, I don't like snow. It was not fun. Anyway, so uh, I got a hotel in Washington, D.C. and stayed there and went in and everything. So it was really easy. Um, I remember that when I, the week before, like two weeks before, I realized, oh, my interview's in two weeks. I should probably start preparing for it. So I put off preparing for my interview until two weeks before, which is a bad, bad, bad idea. Because for two weeks, I was pulling my hair out and just kind of madly, viciously screaming. Uh, but it was really, really stressful. But thanks to the plethora of materials out there, um, and my favorite material that I found was, of course, my Argonauts. Um, I'll put a link I hope I'm pointing the right way. I've never pointed here. I'll put a link in the side to Jason's channel. I don't think this is the right pointing. I don't know. Anyway, I'll put a link in the side to Jason's channel. And his channel is one of the things that helped me most because he's so thorough. His information, he's very thorough. And he interviewed other people and, you know, he has five years of experience with the JET program. You know, his advice was by far the best I found out there. But there is a lot of material out there. And looking through material, I made a list of all the questions that people had said they were asked, and I studied it. I studied it like cramming for a, you know, psychology exam in college. I crammed. Um, and on the drive down to DC, you know, my fiance was in the passenger side, and I just had him ask me questions. You know, drill me, drill me, drill me and answering questions with my eyes closed, you know, kind of, well, I didn't have my eyes closed because I was driving, so, but anyway, you know, just drill over the questions, make a, make a statement of yourself, and, you know, if you're prepared, you're less likely to be nervous, so, um, now, on my way to my interview, I took the metro from our hotel, and 
on the metro ride, like, I was sure I was going to get sick. I felt so nauseated. My stomach was in knots, doing backflips. I was lightheaded and dizzy, you know. I was having a severe panic attack. Like, I was seriously getting overworked, over anxious about this interview. And the interview was in like an hour and a half. So I was just really panicking, really, really panicking. Now we get to the station and I can't remember the station name. For some reason, the only station name that comes to mind is Kanai, but Kanai is a station in Yokohama. And that's definitely not Washington, DC. Anyway, so we get to the station and we went the wrong way. We went the wrong way on Massachusetts Avenue. I think it's Massachusetts Avenue. We went the wrong way. And we got about, you know, uh, half a mile down there and realized, wait, these numbers are going in the wrong direction. So we had to go back the other way. And that walk was a long walk. Long, long, long walk. But we ended up getting there, you know. I had plenty of time. It was okay. Um, but I was still nervous, crazy nervous, you know, you get to it and you're at this embassy, you know, for me, that was a big deal, I'm like, I'm in a Japanese embassy, what? I'm kind of in like a little mini American Japan, you know, and it's nothing really exciting, it's just a building that looks kind of Victorian actually, and, and it's just a building, and you're like, oh, okay. So it's not really like a mini Japan, but it's kind of Japanese property on America. I don't know. Anyway, but um, so when you get there, you sign in and everything and you go through metal detectors so that you don't have anything on you or anything. And you'll go into a room, a waiting room with all the other potential jets. And there'll be a few jet alumni, a few, you know, people who are with... Uh, a jet, you know, a few people like that, um, just, you know, in the waiting room, and there'll be a video repeating on cycle, you know, repeat, 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 and if you're there for long, it'll drive you crazy, but while you're in there, they say you're not technically in the interview, because you're not, you're not really in the interview, but you've got to remember that as soon as you walk into the embassy, you have eyes on you, you know, don't want to make you paranoid, but there's cameras and there's eyes on you, you know. So you want to make a good impression as soon as you get there. So the people in the room that have the experience with Jet, you want to ask them questions. They're there so you can ask them questions. And by sh by asking them questions, you're showing that you really do have an interest in Japan, that you really, you know, want to go. And it also shows that, you know, you have some sort of outgoing personality. You're outgoing and you're not afraid to talk to people. And that's kind of an important thing with this program. So, um, ask them questions. That's what they're there for. Uh, talk with the people around you. You know, when I went, it was really surprising because I was sat on the front row and there was two other people from North Carolina, both from Chapel Hill, and then me. And so I'm from North Carolina, except I'm not from Chapel Hill. I'm from NC State. So it was NC State and then to Chapel Hill. But, you know, it's good to get to know the people because you never know. They might be the people who come with you. And as it turns out, one of the girls who was there did come to Japan with me. And it was very interesting because I roomed with her in orientation. And I basically hung out with her all the time during pre-departure orientation, so it was really interesting. And we sat near each other on both plane rides. Yeah, but uh, anyway, so, you know, get to know the people in there, ask the people that are there to ask, answer questions, ask them questions, and watch the video. Um, I heard rumor about some people being asked about the video, so watch the video, or at least kind of pay an ear to it. But anyway, this is at 10 minutes, so I'm going to make a part two, okay? Hang around and watch part two. Peace.